good morning students how are you all hope you all are fine in your houses i am also fine students okay we today we are going to learn the uh, 10th lesson okay in between two lessons i have not taught you deleted portion okay so we are going to the 10th lesson recruitment methods okay because the human resource management lesson we have learned in that human resource management in that unit second lesson is the recruitment methods that is one of the, uh, the function of this human resource management they have to there are many methods that's what we are going to learn how they are recruiting the uh, personnel that means the employees in an organization because for a success of an organization human resource is very important if the human resource is capable or very efficient then the success of the organization is also uh, it is very, maybe very fast okay we can say they, they can achieve a lot okay their target will be very good they can achieve the organizational goals also is so for the success of any organization the recruitment should be done properly because they have to select they have to uh, identify the man force they have studied the significance of human resource management then the workforce must be uh, adequate not excess not shortage okay so first we should know what is the meaning of recruitment okay what is the meaning of recruitment recruitment is the process is continuous process okay continuous act of what process of finding out suitable candidates okay they have to find out finding suitable candidates not any person okay suitable candidates for the various posts for the various posts in an organization that is called recruitment okay so all the work force that is needed for an organization must be found out by the management that is called recruitment so we can say it is an act or a link between the job seeker and the job provider who will be the job seeker the owner then job sorry sorry job seeker is the employees okay job seeker and job provider who is providing the job for the job seekers they are the owners we can say the management okay so here the owners it is a link it is connecting the job seekers and the job providers okay and why they have to recruit personnel in an organization what is the reason for recruiting okay maybe a newly started organization surely they need many personnel okay that will be done or if and um, it is an a running organization an existing organization then what are the reasons will arise for appointing for recruiting other personnel okay first may be the retirement of old personnel okay if a person has retired or if a person died so death of a f1 employee okay or they may resign the job resignation of the employees okay then we have to select other candidates then sometimes they they are not able to do the disablement of a personnel they are not able to do a particular job or the management sometimes will dismiss dismiss a lot of employees okay for all these reasons they have to recruit personnel in an in an organization okay now we will learn the process okay what are the recruitment process first they have to plan okay planning recruitment first they have to do the planning 
then second one what they have to do they have to determine the vacancies in the uh, newspapers you might have seen that vacancies available in tamil nadu government in indian government central government uh, as teachers okay in various field we have seen the number of vacancies available yeah, either in government or in private organization okay so they have to, second process is they have to determine the number of vacancies okay now third one they have to identify the sources which is source sources of recruitment okay sources this is what we are going to learn in this lesson okay the sources so they have to identify the sources of recruitment okay then they have to collect the uh, information for drafting an advertisement okay drafting advertisement how to type what will be the qualification what will be the experience okay for that vacancies they have to uh, uh, they have to mention the number of vacancies available and what the candidates uh, qualification needed then their uh, what the experience they expect from the candidates okay so they have to draft the advertisement then after drafting the advertisement they have to select the proper they have to select the mode of advertisement okay whether it is in the tv or in the newspaper okay they have to select the mode of advertisement okay then after that they have to do the selection after the mode of advertisement they will send the cv supplications okay either in person or in online okay and through any process they will send then they have to do the selection then last they have to do evaluation and control evaluation and control this is the process of recruiting okay but in this lesson we are going to learn the sources of recruitment okay here the sources of recruitment are of two types okay two types of recruitment two sources one is internal sources okay internal sources and external sources internal sources and external sources again this external sources is divided into two direct sources and indirect sources okay now we will learn some of the internal sources okay how internal means within the organization how we can recruit person within the organization okay they are not going outside but this one external means outside the organization they will recruit people okay so from the within the organization they can get personal they can do this recruitment through transfer here a particular organization may have many or different departments okay many departments so if they find that there are excess employees in a particular department those employees can be transferred from that department to another department where they find shortage of employees okay that is called transfer okay so the employees will be transferred from one or the one department of the organization to another department okay that is called transfer okay the, the second one is upgrading upgrading we know 
they uh, when they do the the performance appraisal when they evaluate the performance of the employees some uh, employees can be upgraded they they will be from one lower department they will be uh, promoted that we can say like a promotion okay lower position to another higher position that is called upgrading okay here third one is promotion that we have heard this one is okay but both is like interrelated what is promotion here uh, the promotion may be given as per their performance or their seniority or on the basis of the merits of the employees the employees can be promoted okay from the lower level to the higher level maybe uh, he may be promoted from the lower level employee to the supervisory level okay that one is called promotion or uh, employee to a manager level okay so that is called promotion then the other one is demotion the opposite of promotion okay if some employees are not at all worthy enough to work in an organization they won't send them outside but what they will do from a higher level uh, position they will be uh, depromoted that is what you we usually say depromotion they will be sent to a lower level okay maybe as per their poor performance okay why they do like that they have to realize they have to realize the importance of hard work their performance in order to make them realize and make them improve their performance they will be demoted okay demotion then next one recommendation by existing employees recommendation from existing employees so the existing the employees all the present employees may have may uh, recommend for some other people uh, to be appointed as uh, employees in a but in their organization for example that existing employees uh, Uh, maybe friends or relatives or their own family members they can recommend for the uh, that for the recruitment of some of the other people existing employees relatives okay that is called recommendation from existing employees then job rotation some organization will have this facility job rotation okay if a person will be rotated from one department to another okay that we have heard in the it level uh, okay in the software one place or one uh, place from other place they will be transferred okay that rotating so here a particular or one department to another department they will be transferred so that particular employee will have experience in many aspects of the organization okay he will be familiar to do any type of activity in the organization okay so what type of job he, he is doing he will be well versed but even if he is asked to do some other Uh, activity in the same organization he will be able to do that is done through this job rotation then retention sometimes what they do the retiring employees 
retiring employees will not be sent outside okay they will be used they will be retained in the same organization uh, maybe after their uh, retirement uh, uh, we, uh, by seeing their performance good performance they may not uh, allow them to go but again they may call back and they will be retained in the same organization that is called retention okay then retired employees already many employees will be retired okay they will be at home maybe 65 30, 70 years they will be called back sometime okay as they are employees they are the retiring employees then dependents dependents we know the legal hair of the employees for example uh, dependents may be Mm, usually they will provide this opportunity for the uh, deceased employees deceased means if a person die but after the death of a, an employee that job will be given to his dependent legal care either maybe if a person if a man dies his job will be given to his wife or uh, the the first son or first daughter okay so that that way okay so the deceased employee's job will be provided for his dependents okay then another way previous applicants if there is an organization often the applicants will be coming and giving application okay the, the persons those who are given given the application is called applicants okay so many applications will be uh, kept as record so he, immediately if they need any um, uh, any employees to be recruited or sometimes they may keep aside some of the applications so they are the previous applicants they may be called okay Okay, maybe they will be used to say the waiting list. Okay, they are called the previous applicants. They will be called and they will be provided job opportunities. Okay, then the last one is acquisitions and mergers. Here, acquisition means they will purchase another organization. Okay, here merger means two will be joining as one organization. So here two organizations, employees will be working in one organization. Here, uh, which organization is bought, that organization's employees will be kept as employees. Okay, so they, that way also they can do the, that they, this one also called internal source. Because the, the people are not selected outside from the same organization which they we have Part. okay so they will also be used as employees within the organization okay this all internal sources are the first five mark question okay all internal okay internal sources you have to study then that the promotion also Two mark question. Okay. Second one. Okay. Two mark second. What is promotion? Then what are the internal sources? Then the meaning. Meaning of recruitment methods. Okay. What is recruitment? Okay. That we have asked. All these question answers in the Zoom class I will uh, explain for you. Okay students. Thank you very much.